Hello, my name is Ken, and I've just received my scale model of the Titanic's lifeboat. And uh, I'm real excited to get started. Let's open the box, and we'll do a box opening, and then we'll start the assembly process. And here it is. RMS Titanic's lifeboat. Must be the planks. Some parts to be cut out. Some of the rigging. This must be the base. And the instructions. 46 pages. All right. All right, so I uh, read all the instructions last night and uh, very carefully, and I'm going to have to read them a couple times more. It turns out that uh, all this text here, there's only one small line in English, which is my language. And so they're uh, 46 pages, got some very nice pictures, but very short on the text. You have to read it very carefully. And the first instructions are to uh, pull out some certain parts. And so I grabbed the parts, and they've been uh, cut with lasers all the way except for a few little tags. And that seems to be true for most all the parts, if not all of them. I looked at all of them that I could see. So it seems to be very straightforward. So I'm going to pop these off and assemble it uh, per this picture here, and uh, that'll be stage one. All right, so I cut out all the parts. Uh, that was tricky. I'm sure glad I got a new set of X-Acto blades. I uh, chipped the tip of this one off cutting these out, and uh, that wasn't too hard. And then I uh, sanded or filed down all the little uh, burrs that came with that. And I've uh, dry fitted these and got them nice and smooth per the instructions and I'm getting ready to glue. Uh, I used these little clips to see to it they're square, so I think that's going to work, not a problem. And I'm going to use some uh, wood glue and I'm going to do just a couple sections at a time. Let them dry and then I do a few more sections. Maybe I'll do the ends and then do the centers. So I glued these uh, frames in here last night. and. Uh, Use these clips to square them up. Seems to have worked pretty good. Now I'm going to do these frames here. One at a time. Not so much for careful. So while these frames are drying, let me set them over here. The instructions say to fit some strengtheners. So I took my X-Acto blade and cut out these, uh, these four here, and there's another four to be cut out. As you can see, I've been trying to grab all the clips and clamps around uh, my place, and uh, put these two here like this. And then it seems you can either... Uh, I'm learning patience with this, being that my first boat. About time at my age, I learned patience. These guys get glued on there like that, and this may be kind of tricky when the time comes. So I'm at the point now where it says to sand um, these corners here so that they're smooth when... The, the planks bend around the corner and I'm struggling the previous instructions said to put these stiffeners in here and I think I got this one right and I got this one right but um, this one over here the instructions weren't clear it's up too high now, if you can see this here let me move this over so I think I'm going to have to sand that off so it's even with these here and you can see that it is 
is just too high and I think the plank has to come along there and it just wasn't clear in the instructions. And I'm going to have to bend these so when I uh, put this blank in here I couldn't quite understand. So I cut this piece of wood, this piece of paper, uh, similar to the size of the wood and then I slipped the paper under this clamp. I have this um, bow frame clamped on here, kind of dry fit. And this would represent the plank that's where I can see it needs to be. And so how far down does the plank go? I don't think it I don't think it comes all the way down, I mean clearly. So it probably only goes so far. And then I guess you bend it over and, and attach it like that. So I'm going to get these pieces of wood and they're too long. So I got to cut the wood similar to this angle appears to me because in the photograph it's just it's just, just lack of clarity here and so I'm uh, this is where I am and so before I go and sand this which is the next set of instructions I'm finding that if I keep ahead two or three instructions and look where I'm going it's helpful so this plank lays up here like that and, and then it's not clear to me the instructions don't say quite what to do next so I uh, sanded off the front uh, stiffener here and the side stiffeners and a couple of the edges here and decided that the wood batten comes all the way out to here or the, the plank comes out to here and curves around. So this was the piece I've decided on after a long study of the pictures. And it lays just like this. I hope that works. There's really no clear way except to experiment. Ended it down significantly. Some more, and it looks better. Maybe I have to sand it some more. None of these are in the instructions. And it seems like now I am pretty close. Maybe the, you can see here, I think the line probably comes up halfway up to keel. But I'm still not quite sure what I'm going to attach it to. So it comes down. I now have room to do that. I guess when I cut it, there'll be a little bit of surface area underneath my thumb here to glue it down. I'll have to use that instant cement. But I'm still struggling with how to attach it. But I'm getting closer. It's just a puzzle. I saw online another one where you soak the wood and make it wet and put it in place. So here's my first attempt at putting it in place. As you can see here, it's just been soaked in um, boiling water from the microwave for about 15 minutes. And then I clamped it in place wet. And I think I'll leave this overnight to dry. And I think this is my new way where I clip it on wet. And we take it off. It seems, oh, I got a little dent in here. I got to find a better clamp. It seems like, I think it's a better way to clamp these. Seems like it twisted and it might even be, oh, interesting. So I soaked both pieces of planks in hot water and then clipped them into place and I'm going to take them off and see how they've done. So here we go. Looks like the first piece has a very nice twist to it. So the next step is to mark both of them like this. Let me get my little pointer. And I'll mark where the keel is and then where I want to cut the wood. And then we'll uh, bevel it. And then I'm going to glue them into place. So I bent the first plank. And now I've glued it in place. Well, first I trimmed the edges and beveled the edges and then glued it in place. 
There it is. Bent and beveled. I think that's right. And I did the same on the other side. Got it wet. Bent it in place and it's ready to be cut and beveled to equal the first one. So I put the first plank on and glued it down and it looks good. And before I put the second one on and before I go any further I thought I would dry fit the rest of the planks and see how it goes. And when you look at the photographs of other boats you see that there's a rather smooth transition right here at the edge whereas over here it's got an overlap per instructions and per design. So in order to make that smooth transition, I've been struggling what to do. I made a little cut right here and put it on and that didn't look right. And I came across the term on the internet, lap strake rabbit joint. And I found that was the solution. So I did the appropriate routing and put these on here. And it looks to me like this is going to fit right on there smooth. I maybe have a little bit more cutting to do. But I'm very happy with that and I'm thinking that's my plan. So now I'm going to start the process of uh, putting the planks on. And planking has been a very difficult chore, a very uh, lot of useful stuff on the web and yet a lot of unknown and that's the fun of this as a puzzle and uh, I feel like I'm progressing. I've been assembling this boat using what I saw online for big boats, a lap strake rabbit joint where you get the bow a little bit narrower because the distance is smaller and at the beam here the distance is quite a bit larger and so in order to have the same number of planks you've got to make these a little more narrow and to have them smooth for water dynamics less friction so you do the rabbit joint on these lap strakes where you cut the wood down in a with my router or my Dremel here and the corresponding plank you cut it down there and then they fit in nice and smooth. And this is what I've been doing one by one gluing them on. As you can see I'm just about done with planking. I read online and I've experienced that planking is a difficult chore and uh, I'm happy with what I've done. Thank God for, uh, for um, wood putty. I think it's covered up a lot of my mistakes. I'm pretty happy with what I've done for the first time, but i got to figure out how to bring these um, planks to the stem a little bit better, but that's for next time. And then as I read through the instructions, I see that they want to do more assembly. These go on this final uh, oak plank, or uh, maple walnut plank goes on. And uh, I might deviate a little bit from the instructions. I'm planning on, I've been sanding and filling and getting ready and before I put this plank on I think I'm going to finish it first. I think if I put it on and then I start sealing and then painting and then sealing and it's going to be difficult to keep this line so if I do it first it just makes more sense to me. Finish these and maybe the planks that go down the bottom and some of the other stuff and then if I make a mistake I can always refinish it afterwards but I think that's where I'm going next. I uh, painted the bottom of the boat, put two coats of sealer on and two coats of white paint, and it uh, looks pretty good. I like it. I painted the last uh, planks that go on black on one side and uh, oil stained them on the other, and I got to put them on. And in the process of going through this, I put the seats in on each side. They didn't quite uh, meet the outside of the boat. The outside of the boat went further out than it should, and there's a gap here. And uh, when I put the seats in, it, I don't know what to do about that. So I thought about it. I trimmed the seats. Now they fit a little bit better, but because the wood was out, it's a little bit lower. So I sanded down the ribs, and uh, now it looks like this doesn't quite fit inside, this little, um, little thing underneath for the life jackets, I suppose. And I uh, stained these little forward bulkheads things and uh, I think it's coming together. Well I finished planking. That was a difficult task. 
I think the real trick is at how you bend the wood, and I've learned a lot about bending wood. I started with no knowledge, and now I have some. And it looks pretty good. I'll give you guys a close-up when I get finished. I've done some painting along the way, too, to give me an idea of what's going on with that. I've had to do some touch-up, and probably I'll do some more touch-up. Uh, getting, getting this top plank on on top as opposed to lapping it over was a difficult chore, and that's where I made a breakthrough in bending. So I'll keep at it, and uh, when I get done, we'll do a close-up. I cut down the side walls to the drawers so they would fit. Laid the seats on, dry fit them in place on one side, then the other. I like them. I glued them in place. Look good. I then stained the uh, side walls, stained, finished staining the seats a second time. And uh, now I'm in the process of putting these drawers in. I cut these little uh, drawers out. I didn't have a drill, so I had to buy a uh, one millimeter drill. You put little holes in the center here, and I've done that, and I'm going to urethane them here. And uh, they fit right in there like that. And uh, then I used these tweezers, kind of glued them in place similarly like that. And on to the next stage. So as I said before, I'm uh, bending wood and doing these things for the first time and not quite sure what to do. I've looked online and seen several different bending schemes, but uh, these gunwale covers are of a, a different shape. They're thicker and they're curved and I don't know, I can't put the crimpy things on there. And, uh, I found uh, what's worked for me in, in the planking in here is I soak them in warm water and then I conform them to where I want them to go. I'm not sure, sure that works so good for planking, but that's what I've done on these gunwale covers and it seems to have worked. I uh, got a cardboard form like this. I don't know if you can see the little pencil mark on here, but um, yeah, no, I don't think that's working. And I put them on the boat and in the shape of the, uh, put them on the boat in the shape than what it be, and I can see that they come in too close. They curve in and are inside the boat where I don't want them. So they need to come out a little bit. And so having put this cardboard form on here, I see how far I want them to go. Then I built this thing here, I don't know what it's called, a form or something. And I laid it down and put a couple pencil marks on the form here. And uh, I lay them in here and then bend them out a little bit while they're soft and wet, and then they dry to be the shape of the boat. So I did one and one, but now I'm going to try two and two, or just two, I mean. flat, then bend them out with this nail. That's still not enough and I couldn't drill the hole precisely, so I leveraged them out with this little piece of wood. A little bit further, and even that wasn't enough, so then I put my uh, paint and leveraged them just a little more. What do you think? Now I'll let them dry, and they should fit on there. I'll sand them and paint them black, and glue them in place. Part of the process is to take these little gunwale covers and paint them first. This is what I've chosen to do. So I uh, glue them to one of my coffee sticks, coffee stir sticks, use a spray can, of uh, flat black. That's what I've been using. And uh, spray them first. 
break this off and then I can install them on the boat. Now that we have the gunwale covers on, the next step was to put these rubbing strips on and I've glued them on. Some more bending of wood. I'm getting better at it. Then I've drilled holes along the bottom here with my uh, 0.8 millimeter drill for the purposes of the eye bolts and I'm going to lay the little rope along the end here. This is the first model boat I built since I was a young kid and I've really enjoyed myself. There's uh, some things I had to learn along the way, some mistakes I've made and um, I guess the lesson I learned is when I went to the model shop to buy some parts, I was explaining to the guy behind the counter, I, I can't understand some of these instructions, they aren't clear. And he, he laughed and he, he called over to Bob, some old timer guy that was in the store, and he says, Bob, have you ever heard of the model boat instructions not being clear? And they both laughed at me. And then Bob came over and he says, so are you having a good time building this? And I said, well, yeah, I think so. He says, well, there you go, that's what it's all about. And it turns out I had a really good time building this. This was a great experience. There's some mistakes I've made. This is not the best looking boat, but I'll get better. I planned, uh, I already got my second model boat chosen. And uh, next winter, when it gets a little less exciting outside, I will spend time indoors building my second model boat. So I had a great time. I'm real happy with my results. And I'll talk to you later with my next YouTube video when it's ready. Bye-bye.